Hello, one and all. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing from Wonderwelt. And it's actually really hard for me to pronounce that name like that because after several years of taking German in high school and college, my instinct is to pronounce it as Wunderwelt. So I actually checked their website to make sure by looking at the katakana on their Twitter account, and it is indeed pronounced Wonderwelt, so I'm going to attempt to pronounce it that way in this video. So for this order, I have three items. Yeah, three, <laughs> three items. One of them is a top, one is a cardigan, and the other is a dream bag. And that is the item for which I made this order. The other two things were just kind of a bonus. So without further ado, let's dig in. I've ordered from Wonderwelt many times in the past, and I don't really have any complaints about their service, about their website. All three of the items that I will be unboxing today are in C condition, which on their website is kind of like their like fair condition, you know? So B would be very good, and A is of course like new. Um, I would say the majority of items I've gotten from them are in C condition, and they're always pretty much okay. Alright, so here's my invoice. I'm just going to put that aside. They sent me a nice little sticker with Wonderwelt and Wonderwelt Floor. Floor? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know on that one. So, alright. And we here we have one nice big parcel wrapped up in bubble wrap with these three items. And I'm going to try to do the tops first. It looks like they're on top. Alright, so they packaged both of my tops in one bag. And there should be a short sleeve shirt in here and a cardigan that I got for a specific occasion. But first here we have my short sleeve top. Now this is from Innocent World. This is a knit top and it has pearl details there on the collar with some nice knit lace. Now like I said, this was in C condition so it's supposed to have kind of a feeling of wear to it, and I would say that it kind of does. However, there are no flaws. It doesn't look like there are any, you know, rips in the knit lace. And this is kind of like just what I've been after for, you know, summer, end of summer. Something black that will go with a couple of my pieces that I was kind of struggling to find something like work acceptable. So this, this for me is definitely a top for work cohorts. And on the back you can see that there are some button details. I probably won't ever even unbutton those to be honest, to put it on. But you know, they're there. And then the lace detailing does go around to the back as well. Really pretty top. I don't see any holes in it, which would be my main concern with a knit item. You know, it's kind of ironic. I've bought knit tops off Lace Market that claim they're in like new condition that have little holes in them. But when ordering from Wonderwelt, even if something's in C condition where it's expected to be fairly used, you usually don't find those little holes. So that's very nice. And the sleeves do have a little bit of ruffle to them. So definitely something that fits the Lolita and Otome aesthetic without being like too over the top. Something that I think people will be able to accept. <laughs> I wish I knew, you know, around when this was released, but I mean, I honestly have no idea. Now second, we have a piano cardigan from Baby the Stars Shine Bright. There it is. Very nice piano detailing. <laughs> And this, of course, I wanted specifically for a piano concert that I'll be going to in early December. And I thought it would be nice to have something new, something church appropriate that is piano themed to support my husband, who is the pianist. 
Now this, it actually, from the, the feel of it, it doesn't have as much of a feeling of wear as the Innocent World top. And I don't remember exactly what the flaws were that this piece was supposed to have. But maybe I'll be able to find them, maybe not. But it has, you know, I really like when a cardigan, and Baby does this a lot, has the ladder lace going across the top with then the tie right there. That's just one of my favorite features of theirs. And I love the music detail embroidered there. This is going to be a really excellent piece for the concert that I want to wear it to. And this, this piece, I don't remember what it's called, but it is on Low Library. So, you know, easy to find a, a, a date and that sort of thing. I do see, you know, here on the ribbon, it's like there's a little bit of dirt on it. It probably doesn't even show up, but it's like right there. And it's kind of like a, a little like black real faint like black line going through it. And if that's seriously all that's wrong with this, it got in C condition, then I'm impressed. So those two items, they were things I wanted on their site, but like didn't want to pay to ship just those two things. I did get the, um, the international e-packet shipping and it only took five days to come. It took it two days to ship and five days to come, so. Definitely glad I didn't shell out for EMS. Now the dream purse that I mentioned, this was kind of like the big thing that when I saw it, I was like, all right, I gotta order this now before it's gone. It is the Baby the Stars Shine Bright Little Red Riding Hood Embroidered Bag. Anything from this series is like a grail of mine, except for the OP, which is kind of like the main thing from the series, but I don't know, I just don't really like the fit of OPs that much, so I don't really care to own that. I really, really wanted the bag. I have the skirt, and the skirt is in the white colorway, and this purse is in the pink colorway, so it doesn't really go with it that much. But who cares? And, I mean, wow, just... The detailing on this, like, I just feel like they don't, they don't make them like this anymore, you know? Like, this is, like, from a bygone era of Sweet Lolita, and the embroidered details are just amazing. I could tell from the site where they did have a couple of the scuffs marked, uh, so I was fully prepared. Like, there we have a little bit of a brown scuff that I think there may have been someplace on the handle. Yeah, like right up there. I mean, you can hardly even see them, to be honest. The state of the bag, I mean, the corners are just fine. I mean, they're not worn. I mean, they're on, they're on this bottom corner. There's a real little bit of scuffing. But, I mean, it's not like falling apart. It's not peeling. It's just, I mean, this is, it's really an awesome condition, to be honest. I would not have ranked this a C rank item. I'm going to carefully open, and here they stuffed it with some paper, and the inside is just pristine. I mean, someone may have used this bag at one point, because it does have a little bit of wear, but the inside is just absolutely pristine. I mean, there is nothing on the inside of this as far as any kind of marks or stains. It has a little zipper pouch. I mean... It, it feels new on the inside. So needless to say, I am super psyched to own another item from my dream series. And if I had to pick a new item to own, it would have been the bag next. Um, next would be some of the socks. <laughs> Those are pretty cool too. And there's a little gemstone right there, a little rhinestone. So cute. And you can see the wolf. Going after little red, little mushrooms. I mean, I'm just all over this. Like, when I first saw this whole series, I was just totally in love. So, if you're following my Instagram, one thing you'll notice is that I won't be using this bag in any cohorts, and that is because it was not really in my Lolita budget to make this impulse purchase. So I asked my husband if he had any interest in 
maybe putting this away for Christmas or my birthday? And he said yes, you know, right away. So I will be promptly putting this back into the packaging and reopening it sometime in December. But since I do have specific use for these tops, I'm going to be using them right away. The, the piano concert is before my birthday and before Christmas, and there wouldn't be much sense in me getting a short sleeve top in December where I live. So in conclusion, another great order from Wonderwelt. Only the black top even really feels that worn. You know, I maybe would have given this a C, but the other two I probably would have ranked a B. So, I mean, what can I say? They're always awesome. And thank you for watching. I actually have two other unboxings queued up because I was sick for a while and just had no desire to open my packages. But then after that, I got nothing. <laughs> All right, so thanks.